pages, unlike posts, are for any content that won't be updated or changed frequently, such as the About page. By clicking on Pages, you will be directed to the Edit Pages site. Click Add New to begin creating a new page. Once you are redirected, you will be given the option to title your new page and to your desired content as well as any media you'd like included. You can also edit the options under Discussion and under Attributes and also choose certain publication options for your new page. The discussion box allows you to check whether you'd like to allow comments, trackbacks, and pingbacks on your page. The attributes box contains the parents option, which allows you to create a hierarchy for your pages if so desired. This function enables you to nest documents within one another, similar to how one would create a hierarchy while note taking using Roman numerals, then letters, then standard numbers. The template option within the attributes box allows you to customize the look of your blog depending on your theme. However, we strongly recommend users leave these settings alone unless you have a bare bones install. Lastly, the attributes box allows you to change the order of your pages if you do not want them ordered alphabetically. The custom fields box can be used to provide extra information such as author information as a way to add flexible content to posts and pages. By assigning various types of content to different custom fields, you gain complete control over when, where, and how to display the associated information. You will also see the Publish option on the right side of the screen. Here you can edit the status of the page, the visibility of the page as whether you'd like it to be public, password protected, or private, as well as select a specific publishing date and time if you do not want the page to be published immediately or if, alternatively, you would like to backdate your content. Be sure to click OK to save your changes for each of these options. Once you have set up your page, click Publish. The page will reload and indicate that your new page was just published. It will also give you the option to view your new page. Once directed here, the name of your new pages will appear on the left-hand side of the screen and the contents of this page will be listed below. Additional pages will be listed on the right where you can also see any hierarchical work you have done. Please note, you can edit the content of your new page simply by clicking on Edit This Entry, which will redirect you back to the edit screen for your page.